the defining moment in 2015 for me was uh, the SEA Games. What we've been through at the time was uh, blood, sweat and tears. Uh, in the home crowd, we wanted to showcase to them the best of uh, our abilities. But that was a pretty huge driving force for the three of us at that point in time, and I believe for all athletes as well. Uh. There was a mix of emotions. I can't really like say a word to it, but perhaps one thing was relief. It's finally over. We have finally delivered what we have to deliver. And it was kind of like a huge load off of a chest lah, to finally attain the gold medal for that event. It was something surprising to me. It is another gold. It's the sixth gold for Singapore. When I was primary four, I was probably like half as round as I was when I was P6. Like I started expanding. You know, my parents, my grandma was saying, this cannot happen, you know, it probably turned into some balloon. At that time, I felt being bullied as a fat kid. So I wanted to prove them wrong. So I thought Wushu was a fighting spot, you see. Then I can silence the bullies. Turned out Wushu is actually a performing arts. And this sport requires a lot of discipline. One thing I really like about it is the high cultural value associated with it. I think all of this kept me in check in the sense that it's not about silencing the bullies anymore. It's not about getting revenge, but rather it's to be the best of me. When NS happened, it was just really hard to come back to training and want to go for competitions. That was one main reason why I got injured. Because I wasn't training scientifically at that point in time. You know, in NS we have our own training. So apart from that, I was doing my own training. I didn't realize that my body condition was uh, getting worse. I, I tore both ACLs. It just didn't seem possible for me to return. It's not about the, the pain in the knee. It's the pain here. After going through one knee surgery, I managed to train a little bit more and I have to cut an leg. Then I have to go through that all over again. Simple tasks such as walking, going to the washroom is, is, is difficult. Well, as an athlete, you feel handicapped. My mum discouraged me from training, I mean. Till this day, I remember the, the words she said to me. I I can only imagine what she was going through at that point in time, you know. There are times I see her crying. And I cannot do anything about it. Because it's like my fault that she's going through all this. You know, I don't see hope in the future, but, but somehow I was just clinging on uh, to, I, I don't know what also, I was just clinging on. There was one day I just wanted to come back and tell my coach that uh, I wanted to quit. I mean, we talk a lot, uh, but there was this one thing which I will not forget, I will never forget this sentence. 你是运动员. It just means so much to us. There are a lot of things which encompass that word, athlete, if you really find meaning in it. Injuries are part and parcel of our training. What I want to look back one day and regret not having the the courage to continue or what I regret I go through it and then I see where this takes me but I think what really helped me at that point in time was that he was being very objective to me because he didn't give me like false hope he told me the pros and cons of, of both you know whether or not I continue without those words I wouldn't have continued he trained me like a non-injured athlete he didn't ask me to jump but everything else I had to do the full intensity everybody else is doing I can only say it's the best feeling ever. And I feel alive again. I think the greatest takeaway is persevere and determination uh, and also resilience to bounce back from adversity. We are pretty much ready for the SEA Games, but there is a lot more for us to improve on. There is always a, a constant worry about my, my knees. Even till now, from time to time, I'll feel like oh, my knee isn't doing well. But I think this is something we, I just got to adapt and get used to. So this is actually the first time I'm competing in uh, these three events, Nan Xuan, Nan Tao and Nan Kun, are the ones which require difficulty movements. That you need to jump and twist and then I'm looking forward to it. Being able to compete in these three events will be a good gauge of where I stand and ultimately achieving my goal of doing my best. Ah! I'm ready for KL. Come back me up. Yeah.